Welcome to 2K Sports in the NBA. I'm your host, Damon Bruce. And now we're going to send you on out to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. Enjoy all the action. Welcome, everyone. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, ready to bring you all the action along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Now the starting group for the visitors. Here's the screen. Back door, back door. To the paint. Good. And that's a nice way for his team to get started. Yeah, really nice start for his team to get out in front here. Back to Jordan. Backs him down. Fade away. Good on the shot. You're going to have a heck of a time finding any flaws in his approach to the game offensively. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. We talked about the keys in preparing for this game. And he said, well, defense is always our first priority. And while we don't want our shot blockers risking foul trouble, having that backstop does enable our perimeter guys the freedom to play up and aggressive. So, Kevin, pressure D and shot blocking, something to look out for. Thank you very much, Doris. And the defensive strategy guys being heavily enforced by the coaching staff. And that's in large part because of the talent they have on that side of the ball. A lot of length, speed, quick hands. They've got a lot of ability on that side of the floor. Well, when you've got the horses, you've got to ride them and let them run. And defensively, they've definitely got some horses. Gets the bucket. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it up. No luck. That's the shot he was looking for. I'm surprised he didn't get it to fall. The shot will not go. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Number four. And that one's good. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. Zero, guarded by Jordan. With one on the clock. And their work on the board pays off with the second chance points. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Good! Jordan's got his second bucket. Down low. The visitors on defense. Zero. Guarded by Jordan. Shot clock at five. Zero. 
hits the bucket. Yeah, when you play against him, Kevin, the first thing you want to address is making it harder on him to go to work down low. If you let him get position inside, it's going to be a long night for you. And how about those dunks of his, too? He is never going to pass up the chance to throw it down on you. No such thing as a gentle layup with this fella. He takes everything strong to the rack. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Six to shoot. Number four buries it down low. The home team will take their first timeout. One fifteen left in the first quarter of the game. Zero guarded by Jordan. Power down with both hands. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guys. Yeah, those are the ones you just can't allow. Them. No, if you're giving up dunks and layups defensively, you're in huge trouble. Now here's Jordan. Rocket six, number seven, craps in the tray. Simply said, it's going to take a much better effort than that, son, on a shooter like him. Thirty-five seconds left here in the opening quarter. Count the bucket. Something has to change, guys. That's ten straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. You control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. Back to Jordan. Backs him down, fades, and that one's good. Jordan's got six. Zero. Oh, oh. Time. Time. You let him get to the rim, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, you deserve that. Uh, he's more than capable. You're right, Mark, of providing some great... Highlight real material. Yes, sir. And for a point guard to finish like that. I mean, that is just special. And the replay, of course, presented by Sprite. What a play. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. The home team up one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Really good sign offensively the way they started this game out, getting a lot of hoops from close range. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get baskets inside. I know you were a three-point shooter, Steve, and a really good one, but it's always easier to score in the paint. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. He dishes it to Jordan. Five to shoot. The shot no good. Zero. Guarded by Jordan. Zero. Count that one. That's where you like to get shots. Inside and close to the hoop. Quarter number two, we're about a minute in. Here's Jordan, hits the fadeaway. Jordan's got eight points. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. Tipped. Right side, Jordan. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And not a popular call, as you can hear in the background. 
Not at all. Unanimous disapproval of that whistle. Zero. And that one's good. He has six. They are in attack mode right now. That's ten straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. That's tipped. To the inside. And here we go. Nice, aggressive defensive play to make the steal and start the break. Yeah, and I like the fact they didn't mess around with it once they got it. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, you got to rise and... Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, yeah levitate. Right. Oh, and, and glide. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Number five. Kim's it with authority. Step aside. Step aside. We've got the big fella coming through. That is, that is a powerful brand of basketball right there. Man, an amazing putback. You just love the effort from this guy. Shot clock at six. Zero. The turnaround jumper. Count it. He is really having a good quarter, a strong quarter, an efficient quarter, doing a lot of positive things out there. There's the pick. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Fires from deep. The shot is off. Zero. Sweet little floater. Eight points for him. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. they got to find something. You're right. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of the game. Gets up a three. Shot's good. Tell you, they might have to make a defensive adjustment. They can't give him that kind of a look from beyond the arc. Zero. And he drops it in from the low post. 20 seconds left now here on the second. But it's no good. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The home team leading by six. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Sunday action is in full swing, so let's break down the first half for you. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well, having their way on offense, and that may be an understatement. They simply can't miss. And slugging it out so far are the visitors. Excellent bench production. The second string coming in, knocking down the shots. Michael Jordan off to a good start. You can't complain about the way he stepped up. And that will be all for us. Thanks for stopping in. And we'll see you next time.
the third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Just five on the clock. Takes a three. The shot is off. Zero. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. You know, that kind of play will get you some brownie points with your coach, no doubt. And with your fans, too, Clark. Got a big dunk like that. And yeah. even with the announcers. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we all love it. <laughs> to the middle. Gets it to go. Eight points for him. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Zero. Offensive rebound. Zero. Nice second effort. Good job staying with it. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean... We haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Number three. The shot from the low post is good. Yeah, he's one of the best teammates in the NBA, too, because he creates so many good shots for the other four players on the court. A sensational, unselfish passing. And something else he's able to do that very few players can is change his shot as he's in the air without it affecting his accuracy. I mean, that's a unique skill, and it really helps him make buckets against tight defense. Hits the bucket. Six points for him. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? From deep, Jordan, and that one's good. He's been producing all night. It's up to the rest of his team to start kicking in a little bit. Zero. And it's good from the elbow. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Outside Jordan. Off the screen. Oh, look out. Man. Oh, really? Ow. Well, that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set and did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Sprite. One fifty-three left in the third, and it's blocked. This game very well could come down to a few possessions, and if that's the case, rebounding could play large. Yeah, in a close game like this one, securing the ball is so vital. Zero. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Eight points for him. That's five straight hoops in the game. What a fantastic job of attacking the rim. Well, Steve, they're getting the looks that they want down there, so might as well keep going right at the rim. If there's no resistance, then make them pay. It's Jordan on the wing. He's got 13. Number eight sinks the triple. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter. Go, 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 go. 
Just five to shoot. Zero. Zero. Tries again. No good at the rim. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the third. For the tie, can't get it to go. Yeah, again, iffy shot selection there. Defender draped all over. Well, you got to understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. Shooting one. We've got 13 seconds left in the third. Jordan with it. There's a good screen. A fader. No good on that last second attempt here. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. The home team up six. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. As the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke to find out who's had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Hey guys, the home team tonight picks up the uncontainable game award. A big second quarter from them pushed them out in front, and they have had no problems keeping the lead. It's their game for the taking. Doris, thanks, and I think we can all agree the whole flow to their game sort of gelled at that point, don't you think, Steve? Oh, yeah, absolutely, Kevin. Everything came together for them all at once. I mean, their shots started dropping one after another at, at one end, and then at the other end, they went into lockdown mode defensively. Yeah, it was truly a good stretch for them, Steve. All they needed were a few things to kind of click into place, and then they were rolling on all cylinders. They set the pick. Zero. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got three rebounds so far in the game. Number five, and he slams that one down. Man, they are both lighting it up here. Exciting basketball, Steve. I mean, it's been back and forth each side, dropping in points every chance they get. Zero, guarded by Jordan. Zero. Shot is off. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Outside Jordan. Gets it to go. Hey, Kevin, he's always aggressive offensively, but it seems like late in the game, he just becomes an assassin. And when the game is in the balance, that's when he's at his best. And you know what else? I love how comfortable he is rising up and knocking down jumpers straight off his dribble. He doesn't need a fancy setup to be effective. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He tried to really fire them up to bring it home, saying, all night, you have all night to rest after the final buzzer. For now, we have to lay it on the line and try to bring it home. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Doris. And they double up Jordan. Fades back, and the basket good. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Points in the paint have been the main course, or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. Zero. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. You know, sometimes the intensity of the game can lead to brain-neutral plays like that, guys. Good. 
For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. There's the pick. Number three. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Throws up the alley-oop. Can't hit. So hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley-oop. And he wishes he hadn't, though. And here's Jordan outside. That's good. Jordan's got 12 points here in the second half. And that's his second three-pointer of this half. Looks like he's starting to forget about that poor first half he had. One forty-nine left to play in the final quarter. Zero guarded by Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Zero. Back and down. Second shot opportunity. That is good. I think Clark and Steve, we can expect a dramatic end of this one. Well, eight lead changes would have you thinking that would be the case. Yeah, both teams really competing. Neither side giving any ground. This should be a fun finish. I agree with you, Kev. Number seven. Gets the three to fall. He's so clutch, Kevin. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Zero. Guarded by Jordan. Zero. No good from 11 feet. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Jordan up top. Nails it. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. What do you think, guys? I think the coach is telling him here to just take the easy points in a hurry. And then you got to foul right away. I don't think they necessarily need to just foul blindly right away here. Still go for a steal before you send one of them to the foul line. Zero. Buries it. And he has brought them to within two points. Came through there with a key basket. Yeah, that was huge. Stepping up when it matters most. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. So it gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, that's all she wrote. I think he sealed the deal with those free throws. Sinks it, and the crowd roaring to life. That was a huge shot, and they're just about dancing in the aisles now. What an eruption in this building. And now they foul and stop the clock. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Throws it from deep. Off target. The visiting club takes the win on the road. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least... Here is your Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan.